time. Uh, at that time, you should bring your journals. As some of you brought your journals today. Uh, you want to take those back and bring them. Uh, next week, you don't want to give them to me now. Uh, it's a really, really hectic time now. So uh, bring them when you're uh, on next week, on the last day of class. Um, okay, so you should know at least three examples of socializing agents. There are more, but you should familiarize yourself with at least three of them. Socializing agents. Okay. Know something about backstage behavior, front stage behavior, drama church. Uh, front and backstage behavior, and then drama church. Drama church. What is a role? A role. My Indiana style. Know what plantation politics uh, means. What is role strain? Know something about role strain. Impression management. The Thomas Theorem. Thomas Theorem. I recently just graduated in May. Um, uh, being, being this first semester has been pretty good. It's a, it's very different from high school, being that you basically have to be self-disciplined because you, in high school your teachers are the ones that are going to be pushing you and getting you to do these assignments. But here in college, that's all on you. You have to know when certain things are due. You have to know what assignments are coming up and you get a syllabus, which is going to be very important. Um, thing that you're going to get in college because that's what you're going to go off of and the teachers aren't going to tell you, you know, because you you should already know and I would recommend getting like a planner or, or, you know, putting it in your phone to have reminders instead of, you know, what I do. I should do it, but um, it's very hard for me because I'm not used to it, but. Very good. Scroll around. Um, I forgot this class in particular, she's going to talk But for this class particularly, I feel like you have to be more open minded in sociology and for Scott Person, Scott Person in general, because you kind of have to be able to kind of be able to voice your opinion and then kind of be able to argue it with other people's opinions. And it's, it's a fun thing to do because it allows you to kind of get that class, have that class that allows you to kind of like speak rather than like stick to book work. And so we do still have book work and we come and talk about it, but it's one of those kind of fun classes because you kind of get a Take your point of view on it and kind of how you understand the topic in the chapter. And then we would um, discuss a lot of um, race, religion, and then um, stuff about gender. So you have to be open minded for that for this class. Here. But overall, I think it's really good. You guys graduate with your GED or your high school. I know you're going to an alternative school, but personally, I want you to know that that is the exact bare minimum of what's going on. Congratulations on achieving the bare minimum. So within one to two months, you should have two things done. You should look at a college, community or four-year university. You should identify what prerequisites you want to take. Because while you're in college, you need to network. You need to talk to uh, an old fish. Hey, what'd you take? Is that cool? I don't know what I want to do. Hey, what did you take? Don't take that math class. Your lives okay. are way too short. Way, way too short, okay? What I'm trying to tell you is that when you get to that college and you're taking those few classes and you don't like it, you're going to drop them. And that's going to set you back. Right now you're ahead of the curve, but you are wasting your time if you're not thinking about now. Because yesterday is already done, and yesterday is when you need to have your plan in place. You understand that? Okay, so when you go home, whatever college it is, if it's enlisting or not enlisting, don't waste your time. And actually look at those course catalogs and say, well, I might want to study this, but I need a prerequisite, so I'm going to learn about that. Just like this class right now, you had a, a, a partial, uh, a partial excuse me, uh, presentation on this class and how it is. So when you're talking to these students and these other students are saying, hey, this is cool, this is cool, this is cool, what did I say? I wouldn't do it again if I had to do it. 
And that's because I am behind the curve. You're ahead of the curve, so use your time. Yeah, my name is Anthony right. Espino. I'm a retired United States Marine and a former firefighter, and I am a returning student. Don't waste your time, because I'm not going to waste mine. Thank you. Have a good day.